Hello, welcome to match day, Arsenal versus Olympiacos coming out. It's just about five o'clock now outside Emirates Stadium. That is the press entrance right behind me. We can see a little bit of a queue, not open yet, but I'll be heading in there very shortly. And I thought today, part of this new sort of YouTube thing that I'm trying out, that I'd uh, do, try and do, sort of tell the story of what it's like to be a journalist on a match day at Arsenal. So we're going to do a few little clips, sort of documenting what it's like, what I do, what it's like in there for the press, because a lot of you won't get to see it in there. So I just thought I'd, uh, yeah, tell the story what it's like to be a, a journalist on a match day at Arsenal. So I'll be heading in there very shortly. Okay, well, the next part of your behind the scenes tour, we are in the press room. As you can see behind me, it is very, very big, much bigger than most of the Premier League ones. Not too busy at the moment. It's going to be an awful lot busier to, uh, in probably about an hour and a half's time when uh, everyone's going to arrive. And um, yeah, it's a pretty packed one tonight. Certainly a lot of foreign journalists over for it, as you'd expect from Greece and all the usual hacks from England who are going to be stuffing their face later on the food and the cakes that we get here today. So here, this is a press room and uh, yeah, still two and a half hours away from kickoff. So here I am inside the Emirates now. We've still got two and a half hours till kickoff here uh, in North London. It's just, this is what it's like in this ground. I always love the feeling of a football stadium, especially the Emirates, uh, before the fans have been allowed in. It's just a, it's just always a nice sort of calm feeling before the storm. and. Uh, yeah, all, pretty much all you can see now in here, the only people in here other than the stewards are the media getting set up. Uh, plenty of media coverage obviously tonight from across Europe, so lots and lots of press, lots of journalists in here and uh, the fans probably been allowed in in about an hour's time. So it's starting to fill up here, we're still an hour and ten minutes away from kickoff, and it's mainly full of Olympiacos fans. It's going to be 5,000 in here tonight and there's probably about 2,500 in here already and they're making plenty of noise. Team news is in. Arteta has gone full strength really for Arsenal. The big four are all playing up front. Ozil, Lacazette, Pepe and Aubameyang. Arteta going full strength. So full time here, 1-0 Olympiacos. We're going to extra time. Both sets of players out there now going through the huddles, going to the last minute talks from the manager. Arsenal so poor, really poor. They've got to pick it up in this last, in this next half an hour. Because if they don't, they're in danger of going out here. Olympiacos deserving of their lead. 1-0, a lot of fans behind me, really frustrated from what they've seen from their side. They need more extra time about to get underway. Well, where do I start with that? What a disastrous, disastrous night for Arsenal. They've gone out of the Europa League here to Olympiacos, losing 2-1 on the night. The Greeks go through 2-2 on away goals. Just an awful, awful night. No one expected this. I think everyone came in, or most people came in, were expecting Arsenal just to cruise through against Olympiacos side, who always travel badly in Europe. Possibly that's what the players were thinking as well, because they put in an abject performance. Certainly the worst under Mikel Arteta. Arsenal arrived here unbeaten in 2020, but that record's gone now, and so is possibly their best chance of the Champions League. It was just an awful night from start to finish. They never got going. The tempo wasn't there. The quality wasn't there around the final third. It was just an awful, awful performance from Mikel Arteta's side. A really surprising one as well, given how they've been playing coming into this game. It looked like they'd just about done enough to scrape through. They lost 1-0 after 90 minutes, so the game went to extra time. And then Aubameyang with seven minutes extra time to go. Looked like he'd sent Arsenal for a really good volley back behind me there in front of the North Bank. Acrobatic volley at the back post with seven minutes to go. Surely that was enough to send them through, but no, no, no. It's not Olympiacos to their credit. They kept going, they kept going, and they snatched it with just a couple of minutes to go. And it was a, it was a horror show for Arsenal. It really it came from a corner, which was given away stupidly by Burton. Leno. he didn't need to do it. We got caught on the ball and gave, put the ball behind for a, for a corner. And uh, from that, Olympiacos worked the ball into the back post. And El Arabi was there at the back, the back stick to prod it in. It was a really good finish. Fair play to him. Sparked absolutely mad celebrations with the 5,000 Olympiacos fans behind the goal. There was still a couple of minutes remaining, though. And Arsenal had a golden opportunity to win it right at the death. And it was a Bamyang of all people. Six yards out, centre of the goal. Only one outcome, surely. But no, he somehow sliced it wide. And... The full-time whistle, he stood there on the halfway line, just absolutely devastated. Bellerin went over to him, but he just couldn't. Whatever he was saying didn't go through. Aubameyang, he was devastated. He knew that was the chance to send Arsenal through. Look, it's not Aubameyang's fault. He's done it. He's saved Arsenal all the time this season. He looked like he'd saved Arsenal tonight with that volley, but didn't pan out that way. And they, in truth, they got what they deserved. Arsenal. I thought they were really poor. And Olympiacos were good. They kept going all night. And it's them who are going through to the last 16. The draws tomorrow. Arsenal now left to concentrate on the FA Cup and the Premier League. From the, from the Emirates, it's finished Arsenal 1, Olympiacos 2.
Here we are at the mix zone underneath the Emirates Stadium waiting for the players who will come out of there and speak to the journalists who all here got the English newspaper boys here and then a lot of the local um, Greek journalists who have come over. Yeah, Klasnach just walking through there with his uh, shoulder injury. Whether any Arsenal players will stop, we'll have to wait and see. Um, given what's happened here tonight, it would not be at all surprised if they all, no one decided to stop and uh, talk to the press. But we'll stay here as long as we can to see if we can get some sort of reaction from the players. And if we do, that'll all be across the uh, newspapers and the websites at some point tomorrow. So that's it, signing off here at the Emirates. Hope you've enjoyed this and behind the scenes look at what's it like, what it's like reporting on Arsenal on a match day. Unfortunately, it's been a horrible, horrible match day for Arsenal going out here. It's gone midnight here at the Emirates. The lights are about to go out. Certainly gone out on Arsenal's Europa League campaign. Whether it's gone out on their season, we'll have to wait and see. But horrible, horrible night for Arsenal. <laughs>